gentlemen, welcome back to the homestead. It's been two and a half years since I made this video. We're gonna do a pros and cons of an outdoor wood boiler. Now, what is an outdoor boiler? Let's cover that super, super fast, uh, and then we'll get right into the video. Yeah, sweet. What is an outdoor boiler? It is a machine that is outdoors, separate from your house. Basically, you have a fire going inside. You use wood, yes. That's firewood. You use wood, right? Heats up a water jacket. There's water in there. Think of it like a big tank. Then you have your plumbing. Runs down, underground. Still haven't put those access panels on. Goes into some insulated pecs and in the home, and that's how you the heat pecs runs into the house, goes through a heat exchanger or a plenum. It could be forced hot air, radiant baseboard, blah, 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 whatever. Um, that's basically how it works. It's an outdoor unit. You fill with wood, pumps the hot water into your house, and heats your home. We're going to talk to talk about pros and cons of one of these. We're not comparing it to a wood stove. That's a separate video. We're just going to do pros and cons of an outdoor wood boiler as is. So let's get right into this it. This is our outdoor boiler. This is our CL604, a classic EPA certified. That's a government issued um, government issued tag there. Uh, classic boiler. 6048, basically saying it's a 60 by 48 firebox. You could fit some jumbo logs in there. This is made by Central Boiler. Um, yeah, let's Ladies get into and gentlemen, it. let's get right into it. I respect your time, all right? I really do. I appreciate you being here. I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna overlay every single point I'm talking about here, and you could screenshot it, you can print it, you can take a picture of it, you can put it on your wife's desk, or send it to her in an email and say, hey, I want a wood boiler. This is what Jay said. Blame me. I will lay on that sword for you. If you want an outdoor boiler, take a screenshot of this, send it to your wife, spouse, whatever, and say, Jay said I could get one, here's why. So, <laughs> without further ado, folks, let's get it right into it. These are pros and cons. These are in no particular order. Um, this is just what I've come up with. I've changed a few things since two and a half years ago, uh, and I've added some things since two and a half years ago I made this video. So, as you learn and progress with these machines, sometimes something that you thought was a con is now a positive. So, first things first, let's go over the pros. Pros, you're heating with wood. Enough said. Wood is renewable. We live in New Hampshire. New Hampshire is like 85% wooded. Um, there's no shortage of, of wood. We are surrounded by 70 acres of land. There is, there is more wood out there than I can actually harvest and process and get back here. Wood is renewable. I don't care how you look at it. I don't care who says what. Um, it's 100% renewable. It really is. Um, it's amazing. The more you get into it, that's a video in itself. Okay, that's pro number one. Pro number two, your mess is outside. Your fire is outside. There is nothing to worry about. If this, if you strapped four rockets on this machine and, and blew it sky high, it wouldn't affect your house. You're not gonna burn down your three, four, five hundred thousand dollar house and shop and garage and stuff. So all your mess is outside. The ash, the smoke, blah, 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 blah. That's a pro if you ask me. You don't have the mess. Of, I know we're not trying to compare to a wood stove, but some of these things are kind of comparable. Your mess is outside. These units are outside. All business is done outside. Um, try to keep this relatively quick. The third thing is insurance. I spoke to our insurance when we moved in. Insurance for an outdoor wood boiler versus a wood stove. Again, I'm not making, trying not to make it a boiler versus a wood stove. This is just the pros and cons of it. Insurance for something like this is less than a wood stove. I know I'm trying to try to not go there, but that's another pro if you ask me. Um, compared to installing a wood stove, an outdoor wood boiler, separate away from the house, insurance is gonna be a little bit different. Don't mock my words, don't send this to your insurance agent and say, hey, Jay said so. That's just what mine told me, so anyways, I digress. Um, another pro, the fourth thing, is you can heat multiple buildings. These can be plumbed to circulate water, I think, to three or four different areas. Um, I've seen guys heat two duplexes. I've heat, seen guys, one video that comes to mind, obviously, is um, Matt, his video, his channel is Trees to Firewood. He does a kiln where he dries wood. He's got a heated driveway, a shop, a house, it's wild. The, the heat to me, he's heating like 7,500 square feet, it's crazy. So that's another pro of these, it's all in one. You can heat all of your buildings, far, barns, greenhouses, I've seen it all with this unit. Um, that's another pro if you ask me. Another pro, which I didn't talk about a couple, two and a half years ago, was 
I'm running a business now. I'm doing a tree, I run a tree service, tree removal. I'm a climber, I'm a tree man. I don't wanna call myself an arborist because that's, I don't wanna get into that, the weeds there. But I run a tree service. This is part of my business. I can um, price jobs accordingly. I don't have to pay for waste to dispose of wood. The wood comes back here, I process it, I burn it. So as far as running a business, you are, you are burning your profits, if you will. I'm getting quote unquote paid to heat my home. I'll show you after, and I'll actually I'll overlay a video now. All that wood you see here that I'm showing you is, is I was paid to cut that. I cut most of that down. And now it's here. Amazing, isn't it? That's another. Just that's just another thing. Uh, so that was the fifth thing. The sixth thing, heating with an outdoor boiler. It's exercise. It really is. It is. You're out here. You're in the woods. You're in the wood yard. You're running saws. You're moving logs around. You're swinging axes. You. You. It is physical exercise. It's such a taboo thing, with people not being athletic or exercise. I'm gonna group mental health into that too. Coming out here and processing firewood. If you've ever done it, 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 it is so therapeutic, it's insane. Sometimes it's repetitive, some days you have bad, you know, ugly wood or it's tough to split. That comes with the territory. But exercise and mental health, that is a pro, if you ask me. You're outside, you're getting in shape. I think, honestly, I'm in the best shape of my life now at 31 years old. Having the tree business, I think I'm in the best shape I've ever been, so. Uh, and I played collegiate hockey, and I think I'm in better shape now. I think I'm stronger, faster, and more agile now than I was um, back when I was actually playing hockey. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. The seventh thing. The I'm trying not to go there. These are more quote unquote efficient than a wood stove. If you have, if I had, I would need two wood stoves in my home. I have not a duplex, but it is kind of like a split home. I live with my in-laws, so the two of us are on one side and the four of us are on the other. So I would need two stoves going all the time in order to heat that versus coming out here and doing one thing at a time. I think this that could be broken down a little bit, but for the most part, it's more efficient than um, just a single or a couple wood stoves for heating. Imagine if you had a barn, a big house, in a shop or whatever and you had to run three wood stoves in there that would be that would be crazy it'd be a lot easier just to run one that's kind of my point all your eggs in one basket for the most part um the next pro is you develop a skill heating with oil or propane or electric heat there's no there's the, the, the buck stops there you buy it or you pay for it that's it Knowing how to cut trees and process firewood and split wood. I've turned that into a business. I'm a tree guy I can climb trees. I can fell trees. I can process wood I've done dozens of tree jobs now. It's a skill you develop now You don't have to be a climber like me, but knowing how to run a saw and move logs around if you have equipment That's a good skill to have you can go save your neighbors if a tree falls in their yard or, or whatever It's a it's a skill you don't get that with propane oil, electric heat, whatever. So that's another thing. Um, another pro is that, um, again, I'm trying not to compare to a wood stove, but you get even heat with these machines, more controllable. Meaning you set a thermostat in your home and it keeps that room at that temperature. Again, try not to go there because this is gonna be the next video. A wood stove gets really hot you know, it radiates from there. Now some of the soap stoves, soap stone stoves are a little bit more even heat, but for the most part, big cast iron, you walk into that room, wow, you feel that fire. So the wood boilers give kind of like an even heat, consistent heat throughout the house. Every room in our home is anywhere from 70 to 74 degrees. You're gonna get hot and cold, hot and cold with a wood stove, uh, if you ask me. Some are a little bit more controllable. Don't hold my feet to the flame, no pun intended there. So those are pretty much all my pros feel free to leave a comment below if um if i you think i missed something but i thought i covered most of the pros uh, that's the first thing that came to mind in my list here now let's go ahead with the cons the cons of an outdoor boiler these are in no particular order like i said in the beginning of the video electricity unfortunately these machines run off electricity meaning if your power goes out or the grid goes down you have to have a supplementary generator solar you have to have something in order to keep that water flowing that is not the number one con but that is a big con with these is that they need power to run again not comparing but a wood stove 
doesn't need electricity. You may have a fan or a blower on it, but they can still operate without electricity. That's a, that's a, there's a big difference there between needing electricity and not needing electricity. Um, another con, even though I said it was a pro, another con is it's outside. You're out here in the snow, the rain, the sleet, the lightning, the tornadoes, whatever, the earthquakes, the hurricanes. You are out here exposed to the elements. You have to plow, snow blow, you have to do all that stuff. Some people I know who have wood stoves have all their wood on like a farmer's porch. They never have to, they can wear sandals all winter. So that's a con, you're outside, you're in the elements, you're, you're you know, if your wood's covered in tarps, you're, you're pulling snow off of tarps. The struggle is real sometimes when you have, when you don't have your wood yard organized. Ask me how I know, it's taken me seven years to figure it out. Um, another con is they're expensive. Outdoor wood boilers are anywhere from ten dollars to $15,000. Now, it's a curve. You're not going to see that savings for a few years. Um, but expensive, and I'm going to branch off of that. The unit itself is expensive, and then you got to dig a trench, run pecs, heat exchangers, pumps. It's a lot of cost up front, and then equipment. Boilers, generally speaking, you're going to burn more wood than a wood stove. You're going to need equipment, tractors wood splitters you don't need a hundred thousand dollar excavator but you're going to need some basic equipment to have an outdoor boiler because you're probably going to burn more wood than a wood stove just speculating so that's another con another con is they're harder to install after the fact if you move into a home and you want to put an outdoor boiler in like i said you're going to have to drill through your foundation run that pex through you're going to have to dig a trench if you already have irrigation lines septic things like that these really need to be designed into the home at the initial build so you can account for the stuff power lines you need to run conduit underground so it's a little bit of a they're harder to install after the fact versus a wood stove where you could just say hey i have a grand room here i'm going to put a thimble in the wall chimney done you know quote unquote done um, so these are harder to install. That's kind of a con I thought of. Um, another con. This is a big con for me. You're married to it. You are obligated and stuck feeding the beast for six months out of the year. We're coming around to six months. Could be four and a half, could be eight. Depends on where you are and your elements. You have to feed it. You have to keep it going. It's a chore. It's an everyday chore. It's not a big deal in my opinion. It just, you build it into your habits, but it is, you are married to it. You have to come out here and run it. Um, you have to feed it. Okay. You have to feed it. You have to run it every day. You have to incorporate that into your schedule. You got to leave time to do that. Um, you are married to it. Another con, kind of with these older units, if you have a lot of homes, if you live in a neighborhood, now this has kind of changed a little bit because the new gasification stoves don't smoke a lot, but these old girls, depending on what you're burning, can smoke a lot. That's gonna be tight, that's gonna to be tough in residential neighborhoods, people are gonna complain. That's partly why the EPA and the designs of these has changed with people out. Some of the old, old school ones, like older than this one, absolutely just roar. Especially if you're burning really wet, green junk wood, that's, that smoke's gonna, smoke can be a nuisance. Um, my machine's not that bad, we have no neighbors, so we're lucky to have it, but um, it's not that bad. Um, another con, you're going to use more wood. You're going to use a lot of wood. If you have a traditional boiler like me, or if you have a gasification unit, you're going to use a handful of wood to heat your home. Regardless of the style machine, I've already gone over gasser versus conventional. Those are two terms you hear all the time, but you're going to use more wood than, let's say, a wood stove, I would imagine. Um, again, yeah that's just something that's just nature of the beast you're gonna use more wood than like a wood stove uh, another con is this has moving parts pumps heat exchangers pecs fittings all, uh, solenoids dampers the new the new fancy ones have computers and blowers and all that stuff you're gonna need spare parts and you're gonna need some mechanical skill to be able to change a part out because there's really no 1-800 come fix my boiler um, service line. You're going to have to look it up on the internet and do it yourself. I've changed dampers on this, doors, rope seals, pumps, chimneys. I've done it all because I've had this unit for seven, eight years now. But uh, that's another con versus like a wood stove is that there's more parts here. There's more failure points than a conventional um, wood stove. Another con is you put all your eggs in one basket. If you're heating a barn, 
a garage and a house and your unit finally dies on you or you blow a pump you're pretty much having to rely on your back your backup um that was just a damper shutting off i knew it was coming that's why i looked about a minute ago um still makes you jump sometimes but yeah all your eggs are in one basket that's kind of a con with these you can heat multiple buildings but the problem is if you have an issue with your boiler all your buildings go dark quote unquote go cold if you blow a pump in the middle of the night or or your door seal or some issue arises or god forbid they leak eventually eventually this one will leak eventually just counting down the days i don't know when but um you're putting all kind of your eggs in one basket so uh another con and this might be depending on the home you're gonna need space you're gonna need a wood yard i have a 6400 square foot uh, it's 80 by 80 80 this way 80 that way i have an 80 by 80 so that's 6400 square feet wood yard that i use if you're moving into a half acre lot you're gonna need space for wood sheds, your equipment, all that stuff. So you need some space, some land. Most people that have boilers, it's gonna be big properties like mine. It's gonna be farms, big ranches, houses that are built, you know, three, four, five hundred feet back into the woods. So you don't really often see these in these cookie cut neighborhoods. Very rarely do you see those. Maybe the newer styles, but you're gonna need room. You need. You're gonna need a wood yard. No question about it. If you're born, burning six, seven, eight cords of wood a year, whatever it may be, that's going to take up some space. Four by four by eight is one cord. That takes up some space. So, um, and the last con, again, these are in no order. It is physical work. If you have a bad back, bad knees, these this may not be your answer. Maybe a wood stove. If you can buy some wood, have it delivered, stack it, spend a day stacking it, a couple hours stacking it. Maybe that's easier on your back. Maybe you have spine issues. You know, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to do this kind of work, but it is physical work. On the other side, like I said earlier, it's a pro. You're out here, you're, you're doing physical work, you're doing the Lord's work, shepherding the land. Um, but that's also a con, is that it's physical work. So this is, this is the end of the video. I just wanted to lay it out there. Those are the pros and cons. This is what I came up with. Um, you can take this information and determine and do what you want with it i'm just laying it out there um the next video i'm gonna make and i'll overlay it here if you're gonna heat with wood sometimes a wood stove may be a better option so we're gonna go over that in another video but for now that was just my pros and cons of owning or buying or thinking of buying or running a outdoor boiler uh, i made this video two and a half years ago and i made some changes but i think we covered most of it if there's anything I forgot, feel free to leave it below in the comments. If you are watching this video and you've stuck through this far, God bless you. Thank you. But I invite you to read the comments. There are hundreds of people who follow this channel who have heated with boilers longer than me who have some beautiful expertise. So go ahead and peruse through the comments. I trust the people. I know exactly who's going to leave comments on this video. Um, guys like Shane, guys like Steve, guys like um, Jimmy. These are people who heat, uh, Nick, people, those four people right off the top of my head that I know heat with, with boilers here. So they're going to be chiming in in the comments. So thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Let me know what you think. That's the end of today's video. We're going to do here, I'll try to remember to link it, um, wood stove versus wood boiler because that'll be an interesting video. So anyways, God bless. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Like I always say, guys, we will see you guys out in the woods.